Nestle's Darkest Secret, The Disturbing Truth For years, Nestle, a major player in the food and beverage industry, has faced intense scrutiny over its business practices. In addition to its well-known brands and wide range of products, the company has found itself entangled in a series of controversies that have brought to light some of its most unsettling secrets and troubling realities. Nestle's operations have faced intense scrutiny for their impact on communities, the environment, and human rights. From their water bottling practices to allegations of child labor in their supply chain, concerns have been raised about the company's practices. In this exploration, we'll delve into the complex issues surrounding Nestle, uncovering the various challenges it encounters in balancing its ethical, social, and environmental responsibilities with its status as a corporate giant. Nestle's water bottling practices have come under fire, especially in areas where water scarcity is a pressing issue. Some critics claim that Nestle's extraction of water for bottling purposes worsens water stress in nearby communities and ecosystems. There was a significant incident involving Nestle's bottling operations in California during periods of drought. The company was accused of taking advantage of local water resources for financial gain. There have been allegations made against Nestle claiming that their marketing campaigns may be spreading inaccurate health information. Take, for example, the company's controversial decision to promote sugary snacks and beverages as a component of a well-rounded diet. This move has drawn significant criticism as numerous studies have established a clear connection between excessive sugar intake and a range of health problems such as obesity, diabetes, and heart disease. Some critics claim that Nestle's marketing tactics have the potential to create confusion among the public and hinder efforts to encourage healthier eating habits. In the vast realm of multinational corporations navigating the intricate web of the global supply chain, Nestle has found itself entangled in allegations of employing child labor and within its cocoa supply chain. Accusations have been made against the company for disregarding child labor and not effectively addressing the issue, despite previous promises to take action. The reputation of Nestle has been marred by these allegations, prompting demands for increased accountability and transparency in its supply chain practices. Nestle has faced scrutiny for its forceful promotion of infant formula in developing nations where access to clean water and adequate sanitation may be scarce. Some critics have raised concerns about Nestle's marketing practices, suggesting that the company's promotion of infant formula may have had a negative impact on breastfeeding rates and the health of infants in certain areas. Like numerous other food companies, Nestle procures palm oil to incorporate into its products. However, the production of palm oil is intertwined with the unfortunate consequences of deforestation, habitat destruction, and human rights abuses such as forced labor and land grabbing. Nestle's been heavily criticized for its lack of action in addressing these issues within its palm oil supply chain and for failing to fulfill its promises of sourcing sustainable palm oil. Nestle's operations have been associated with a range of environmental issues such as deforestation, greenhouse gas emissions, and plastic pollution. Critics have targeted the company for its heavy use of single-use plastic packaging and its role in exacerbating the global plastic waste crisis. Despite making promises to enhance its environmental performance, Nestle remains under scrutiny for its impact on the environment. Nestle has come under fire for its marketing strategies which have been accused of making false health claims about specific products. The company has been accused of promoting sugary breakfast cereals and other processed foods as nutritious or beneficial for health, despite evidence suggesting otherwise. There has been growing concern regarding the effects of Nestle's marketing practices on public health, specifically regarding the increasing prevalence of obesity and diet-related illnesses. There have been allegations made against Nestle regarding the exploitation of workers in its supply chain, particularly in developing countries where labor laws may not be as strict and enforcement mechanisms may be weaker. Reports of exploitative labor practices encompass instances of coerced labor, substandard working conditions, and infringements upon workers' rights. Some critics contend that Nestle has failed to adequately address concerns regarding the fair and ethical treatment of workers across its supply chain. Nestle has been the subject of scrutiny due to concerns surrounding the nutritional value of certain products in its lineup, particularly those that contain high levels of sugar, salt, and unhealthy fats. Some critics claim that these products can lead to unhealthy eating habits and have adverse effects on health, mainly when consumed frequently as part of a diet that is heavy on processed foods. Nestle is facing increasing pressure to revamp its product formulations in order to better align with public health recommendations and promote healthier options. Similar to other major corporations, Nestle has faced 
allegations of exerting excessive influence on policymakers by lobbying and making political contributions. Some critics claim that this influence has the potential to weaken public health and environmental regulations that are intended to benefit the public but may conflict with Nestle's business interests. There have been discussions regarding the transparency and accountability of Nestle's political activities and how they might influence democratic processes. There have been growing concerns about the impact of Nestle's inclusion of animal products in its food and beverage offerings on animal welfare, factory farming practices, confinement of animals in cramped conditions, and inhumane treatment in the production of ingredients used by Nestle have been brought to light by critics. There have been numerous appeals for Nestle to enhance animal welfare standards across its supply chain and adopt more ethical sourcing practices. Nestle has been accused of violating marketing regulations, specifically in relation to the promotion of infant formula. In spite of rules designed to limit aggressive marketing tactics, Nestle and other formula manufacturers have faced accusations of finding ways to bypass these rules through indirect advertising methods. These methods include sponsoring healthcare events or offering free samples to healthcare providers. Efforts to promote breastfeeding and infant health, especially in vulnerable communities, can be undermined by this. There have been reports of exploitation of small-scale farmers in certain regions where Nestle sources agricultural ingredients such as coffee and cocoa. Significant criticism has been surrounding Nestle's purchasing practices, particularly in regard to price negotiations and payment terms. These practices have been accused of contributing to poverty and inequality among farmers. In addition, Nestle has faced accusations of not effectively addressing concerns related to child labor and fair wages in its agricultural supply chains. Despite its claims of commitment to sustainability and environmental responsibility, Nestle has been accused of presenting a misleadingly positive image of its ecological initiatives while continuing unsustainable business practices. Some critics claim that Nestle's sustainability efforts fall short of addressing the company's overall environmental impact. They argue that these efforts may be superficial or inadequate, particularly in relation to issues like the company's use of single-use plastics and its role in deforestation through agricultural sourcing. There have been growing concerns regarding Nestle's water bottling operations and the potential implications for the privatization of water resources. Some critics claim that Nestle's extraction of water for bottling purposes amounts to the privatization of a public resource, allowing them to make profits from a fundamental necessity. The story of Nestle encapsulates the intricate dance between corporate agendas, societal demands, and the pressing needs for global sustainability. The controversies and unsettling revelations that have emerged from its operations highlight the pressing requirement for transparency, accountability, and ethical governance in the corporate realm. As Nestle faces these challenges, it finds itself at a critical juncture, where taking decisive action and demonstrating a sincere dedication to bringing about positive transformation are necessary. Nestle must tackle these issues directly, engage in meaningful conversations with stakeholders, and prioritize integrity and responsibility in order to to pave the way for a more sustainable and fair future.